So now you know that uh, there are certain phenomena which could not be explained by electromagnetic wave theory. So we have another theory uh, in according to which like according to electromagnetic wave theory light is considered to be a wave. Now we have a new theory where we are going to consider light as a particle. See uh, we and we will later prove also that light has a dual nature that some of the processes can be explained by considering light as a wave and there are certain processes which can be, which can be explained by considering light as a particle. So this is a theory indicating the particle nature of light, indicating the particle nature of light. So what is that theory? So this is according to this energy is emitted or absorbed discontinuously. Earlier in when we studied the electromagnetic wave theory, it believes in continuous generation of energy. But here energy is emitted or absorbed discontinuously, not continuously and in the form of packets and each packet is called as quanta or quantum. Each packet is called as quanta or quantum and in case of light, the packet is being given a special name that is the photon. That in case of light, the packet of energy is called as photon. Now, uh, if you want to know that uh, the energy possessed by each packet depend on what factor. So energy associated with each factor depend upon the frequency of radiation. So that means it depends upon the frequency directly proportional. And uh, if we uh, like, uh, like according to second postulate energy it is directly proportional to the frequency. So if we remove the proportionality sign it becomes we need to put a constant which is the Planck's constant. H is the Planck's constant value is 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to power minus 36 right so E is equal to H nu. Now if we if uh, like this 3 or 4 or 10 packets fall on the surface then the energy associated with each is given by E is equal to N H nu N means you need to multiply the H nu into number of packets. So you can say it is integral multiple of H and nu. So this is all about and here if you need to uh, know the uh, this thing the units for the H as you know that uh, this is uh, in uh, this is uh, joules and this is per second. So it is joule per second. So H is the 6.634 into 10 raised to power minus 36 joule per second. So this is all about the Planck's quantum theory. So this theory is actually uh, can explain the uh, particle nature of the uh, light. Now we'll uh, just try to explain those phenomena which could not be explained by electromagnetic wave theory. That is the black body and the photoelectric effect on the basis of Planck's quantum theory.